In Europe, more than one in five people find travelling difficult due to old age, disability or reduced mobility. To make every journey a pleasant experience, the European Union has established a series of rights that aim to enable you to get around just like anyone else, whether by plane or by train. The first principle is non-discrimination at the time of reserving a ticket. The way I would do it uh, when I'm traveling by air or traveling by train is that I would um, book my ticket uh, normally on internet or I would do it by phone. Per quanto mi riguarda, For my part, I prefer to go directly to the travel agency c'è il as I can speak with the staff there and explain my difficulties to them. Personale. Then when I have booked my ticket, I need also to book the assistance and I have never had any uh, problems, it has always been for free. However, whether travelling by plane or train, places for disabled or reduced mobility passengers are sometimes limited for reasons of safety or space. For me, uh, the challenge when I'm traveling uh, by train or traveling by air is of course when I arrive to an airport or to a rail station, a big rail station, is to find my way around, it's to navigate. When you grow old, when you are a bit older, other people don't always realize that you might have motor difficulties. You may have problems with your heart, your lungs, you may become slower. When buying your ticket, you should be provided with accessibility information. At airports and major train stations, special posts enable you to make a direct call to the people who can give you assistance. To fully benefit, you should give the transport provider 48 hours notice of your need for assistance. Finding exits, finding the right platforms, finding the right check-in desks is not always easy for a person with reduced mobility. You request the assistance at the so-called uh, call points. The assistance um, can show you where the check-in counter is, how to get through the security um, and how to get to your gates. When I arrive and find the assistance staff, I feel calmer because they know how to deal with this type of problem and show me the right gate to go to. At airports, assistance also extends to checking in luggage and transportation to the boarding area. At staffed railway stations, the management offers assistance in boarding the train free of charge. You will also benefit from all facilities on offer. When boarding, everything has been arranged to adapt the assistance to your needs. So, you will be able to board before the other passengers. As with all your assistance requirements, do not forget to give your transport provider advance warning, so as to be sure that your guide dog can accompany you on board. When you enter the aircraft, it's important to know where you are seated, um, to be guided to your seat. And then, of course, it's also very practical and helpful to know where are you in the plane. So, how close are you to emergency exits? Where are the toilets and so on? Finally, airlines and railway companies are responsible for mobility equipment during transport, particularly in case of loss or damage. The staff on board the train or plane will provide you with the necessary explanations and assistance during your journey. In particular, the aeroplane safety instructions must be explained to you in a way that is adapted to your disability. Um, staff on the flight informs the airport that you are arriving to, that you are on board and that you will need assistance uh, upon arrival. 
So, on arrival or during a stopover or connection, you are entitled to assistance to help you at all of the necessary stages. Depending on the number of people requiring assistance and the number of staff available, there may be a waiting time, but this will generally be limited. Do you feel that your rights have not been respected? You are protected by European law. First of all, lodge a complaint with the airport or the transport company. If you do not receive a response after one month, send the complaint to your national enforcement body that is responsible for ensuring that the legislation in force is respected. The European Commission is there to inform you of your rights. More information? 00800 67 1011 or ec.europa.eu slash passenger hyphen rights.